Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Sylphide. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode two. Oh, I'm in trouble. This game is hard. I'll make no doubts or, or conjecture against it. This is a hard game. It's fun, but it's hard. <laughs> uh, it's, it's given me some grief. It's given me some grief. And uh, I'm walking into the next stage with only four units of energy, so... <laughs> We're going to go with the Phalanx Beam, and we're going to go with the Forward Beam, and the Gravitation Bomb, which is an interesting optional weapon. It launches three, uh, not three, but four spheres of energy, which can damage enemies in front of me and destroy shots. But it's kind of picky about when it does it. So, yeah. Now, I'm kind of worried about this level, and kind of not, because I'll have the opportunity to heal up four times. So I could, if I'm careful, walk away with full shields. But probably not. But that's what the Phalanx does. It kind of scatters the shots a little bit on one side and kind of widens the beam, essentially. Damaging enemies as they get closer and such. So it's actually a pretty good weapon. It works even better whenever you have uh, both of them. Or if you use one in conjunction with a wide beam. It's uh, pretty good stuff. It seems to suffer a little bit at close range. A little bit. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things. And that's what the Gravitation Bomb does, and I need to be careful with these guys, because I have a tendency to, whenever they launch the little white star thingies, I have a tendency to fly towards them like they're shiny and full of candy, even though I should not do that. Alright, here are three of the four healing power-ups. That is a destroy icon. Whenever I grab it, if I can grab it, it destroys all enemies on screen. At shit. No, 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 I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a very bad spot here. Well, I'm not walking out of here with full shields, that's for sure. I am going to walk out of here with... I'm going to try and walk out of here with... No, I'm not. No, I'm probably going to walk out here on fire. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. So, if I'm lucky, I can walk out of here breaking even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Go up. Go up. Yeah, the sooner you defeat him, the more enemies will come at you before this point, giving you a better opportunity to get points, and for this part, I have to stay in the center. I can run into those walls and take damage. And you can see the enemies doing the same thing. They can be destroyed too. So as long as I am careful, I can walk through. Oh my god, why did I go directly towards the bullets? Alright, I'm in the red. I'm clear now. I can actually... Now, oddly enough, I can damage him. But I can't destroy him, and now he's out of range. So I walked away with a shield unit, so that's good. And, uh... It's a pretty good day when you can, uh, fly the... Do a trench run against a space station, and the space station bugs out. That's that's a pretty good day. Alright, let me think about this for a minute. Alright, I gave it some thought, and believe it or not, as much as I want to do the dual wide beam, I think I'm going to go phalanx beam, forward beam, so I can have the range. I'm also going to use the antimatter bomb, because it's the most powerful optional weapon, and it's, you know, I don't use it all that often, so I figure why the hell not, right? What's the worst that could happen? Aside from horrible, searing, painful death. Now, if I could have gotten the dual phalanx, that would have been great. And I got hit right out of the box. It's okay. Because I got a dual repair, and there's a triple repair elsewhere in the stage. 
so that is good. Don't touch that. Don't touch me. Oh, I hit him! And that's what the antimatter bomb do. It fucks shit up. Bosses, anyway. I mean, sure, it does great against these guys, but the problem there is that, you know, they're, um, small, hard-to-hit targets. Now, I can actually see the cannons popping up there, so I know where to dodge. When I was a kid, I never looked that far ahead, so I never got the chance to dodge. Uh, also that, yeah, I thought it was the, uh, the health power-up. No, it's not. That's coming up next. See that? There's the health power up. Oh, so good. Oh, 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 oh! How did I dodge all of that? My fingers were trying to do shit that I wasn't supposed to be doing. And he said, watch out for the cannon. Right, there's at least one more health power. If I can get that last one, I'll be happy. I'm not going to be attacked by enemies for a while, I just have to watch out for things I can run into. I mean, I'll be attacked by these guys, but I'm not worried about them. That friend right here. Oh, okay. That was not a safe spot. Gotcha. Alright. No, no, no. I learned my lesson. Learned my lesson, I did. Now, you want to hang back right about here. then start firing, because once you get past this part, shots are fired again. Enemies are gonna come at us. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> and, uh, that's optional weapon energy, so that's good. I'm already doing better than the last time I tried this. This boss fight's gonna be tough. He's firing lots of shots that veer around, you can destroy them, but the background is going to be accelerating and it is full of things you can run into and that can block your shots. And now that I've said all that and taken- oh my god, come on. Oh, I got him, I got him. Oh. Mmm, that was rough. That was very rough. I'm not gonna lie, that was super rough. You know, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm thinking about going double wide beam. I'm going, I'm, I'm doing three episodes, three levels this episode because, um, well, just because. There's a, there's a very specific reason. Uh, ooh, ooh, I do have, all right, we're going to go double wide beam and we're going to take the EMDS, which I don't know what it stands for. Emergency Material Defense Shield, I guess? It, it puts up an energy field around your ship that will absorb three hits from enemy fire before dissipating or will instantly dissipate whenever you're, whenever you're, um, something collides with you, like an enemy ship collides with you. And either way, I think whenever it, um, breaks away, it triggers a moment of invulnerability in your ship, I think. So it's a very good defensive weapon, and I like it a lot. And I'm going to need it because I've only got four shield energy, and this stage has no power-ups at all. Yeah. But it's my favorite stage. And it's my favorite music, too. Wide beam is awesome. Works great when it's with another wide beam. very careful because aside from the little um, multicolored projectiles he's firing at me, everything else that he fires at me, those and, the, and those count as physical objects so they can break my shield instantly.
Oh, okay. Damn it, I got hit. Wait, wait a minute. I have four energy going in here. Why do I only have... Whatever, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter. Also, if you take too long killing these bosses, they'll just, they'll just piss off. Which is fine with me. But with this guy, at least with the wide beam, I can stay behind him or on his sides. Instead of directly in his face. Shield back up. I will use all of my special weapon energy because I don't need it right now. I hate these guys. These guys I hate the most. Oh, I made it. And this stage is surprisingly short. I mean, like, it was, it was like a minute? This was a padding level if I ever saw one, but still, it was awesome. No, 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 no. Those will instantly break my shield. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. And I think the way it works is the shot has to actually hit... I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because I'm seeing some of these shots go through the shield, but not hitting me. I think it has to actually tap me. I don't know. 